Listen up, everybody. There is always a reason to get outside if you live on the first coast. We've got so many beautiful areas, parks and whatnot, that we can go and fish and swim. Well, in St. Johns County, the Parks and Recreation has actual in-person classes where you can learn how to saltwater fish. If you didn't know, saltwater and freshwater fishing are not the same thing, not even a little bit. And we have a Kelly Ucia, Parks Naturalist here, to fill us in on what this program is like and you know how it works. So first of all, talk to us about the idea of getting 16 and ups out into the, into the natural world to enjoy fishing and saltwater fishing. Yeah, so um, Florida, we are blessed with so many places to fish, and I think one of the best places to fish is our saltwater environments. So myself and our instructor, Miss Donna, we teach our fishing classes here in St. John's County, and it's really just to get people who maybe aren't as comfortable going out fishing, who are maybe from other places and have fresh, fished freshwater and they want to experience saltwater. So our classes are awesome because you have kind of like a lecture hands-on portion depending on what we're doing for the day if we're doing fish id or teaching you how to make um, rigs um, we actually have a cool class where we teach you how to fillet fish because once you catch them you want to eat them right like that's, that's the and best part of the time you want to go ahead and fillet your fish fresh a lot of people right. put it in the cooler you know no go ahead and fillet that thing on up and keep it fresh put it on ice put the fillet on ice not the whole fish check yeah right. so so our class is that first hour or so is really educational and instructional and then we provide the bait and we go out and fish for the second hour because the best way to learn is just to do it and then myself and miss donna are available to troubleshoot to help with whatever goes wrong because <laughs> especially when you're learning you're not going to get it right on the first try so we're there to help <laughs> well along with saltwater fishing something else that you can do in uh, salt water especially in some of the beautiful marshland areas is kayaking so how much fun is kayaking? And you know, if someone is a little bit, I guess maybe apprehensive about getting in one, why should they, you know, come on down to St. John's County and have some fun with you guys? Yeah, so we have beautiful waterways to explore here in St. John's County. And we have a fleet of boats that we take with us all throughout the county. So you could kayak with us all year and not see the same place twice. And so myself and my coworker are both level two certified kayak instructors. We are not the organization that just gives you a boat and a paddle and wishes you luck. Um, we Literally actually do it. the stream without a paddle, no pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah, so we give you a short um, safety briefing. We are both trained to rescue should something go wrong. Um, not that we really had that happen. But we are a great place for you to explore new areas that maybe you haven't gone out to before, especially our tidal areas. I do not recommend you going out into our tidal areas if you don't know what you're doing, if you haven't checked tides, that's a recipe for potential disaster. Um, so come with us, learn how we do it, check out new areas before you go explore them yourself. If you're a beginner and you've never been in a boat, no problem. All of our trips are beginner level with the exception of one, and it's clearly stated as an intermediate level trip. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. Now, the beautiful part is you take that saltwater fishing class and then get in a kayak, you might be able to fish while in the kayak. But a lot of this also just has to do with getting people out into the environment. So now let's just talk about what it's like being out there. Once you throw your fish and your, your line into the water, you're waiting and you're out there enjoying. You're getting your vitamin D from the sun. The same thing with the kayak. You're not kayaking the entire time. You're gonna stop and enjoy the views. So, you know, impress upon people the, the need to just get out and enjoy the natural world and just exist out there. Yeah, I have the best job in the whole wide world. Um, I get to connect people to our beautiful natural areas that are right in their backyard, but a lot of times they just don't even know it's there. And so on our kayak trips, we do take a moment to just sit and to just be. Um, while we're fishing, we've seen dolphins, we've seen manatees, um, we've seen sea turtles. I mean, you see so many cool things once you just start paying attention to our natural areas. Where can folks go for more information? Yeah, so I work for St. John's County Parks and Recreation. So if you go to the county webpage, you click on the Parks and Recreation tab right at the top, it says, Look here for more information. I encourage you all to sign up for our newsletter. We send out a newsletter once a month with all of the awesome things we have going on. A beach walk, photography classes, fishing programs, kayaking. We are out there, we are doing stuff. We are doing in-person things um, and we're keeping it outdoors and safe. Um, so I encourage you guys to connect with us and come on our next adventure. We most definitely will, we being everybody watching because it's such a beautiful area out there. I actually live uh, right around the corner from some marshland. So you're encouraging me to pick up my fishing pole, get on out there. And thanks to Kelly Ucia, 
Parks Naturalist for St. Johns County. Folks, of course, all of this information is going straight to firstcoastliving.net. So get outside and enjoy our natural world. Thanks again, Kelly. Thank you.